Agent Provocateur. Agent Provocateur was founded in 1994 by the son of punk impresario Malcolm McLaren and Vivian Westwood, George Joseph Coré, in partnership with his now ex-wife Serena Reese. With punk bloodlines like those Joe's brainchild was always going to turn heads. Their first flagship store opened its doors in London Soho on Broadwick Street. Their initial intention was to sell various brands of provocative, colourful and fashionable lingerie. After failing to source their merchandise from other brands, they decided to create their own line and started designing and manufacturing their own eponymous collections. In 2000, the brand released its first signature fragrance, named after the label itself. Since then, the range has expanded with more fragrances, as well as a selection of beauty products and cosmetics. Since the very beginning, Agent Provocateur was noted for its controversial, shocking advertising and marketing strategies, causing exceptional as well as overwhelming responses. Coré and Rhys mainly established the brand through an almost punk-esque communication strategy, using their shop window, outdoor advertising, catalogs and events, which would soon be the talk of the media worldwide. Since its launch in 1994, Agent Provocateur has never struggled to attract column inches. Its boundary-pushing ad campaigns and legendary Broadwick Street windows displays were catnip for fashion editors. It positioned itself perfectly at the place where the demi-monde intersects with the high street, and sexy propositions kinky for a saucy two-step. However, if you are looking for an example of how this brand managed to set itself apart from its rivals, cast your eye over a pair of bright orange knickers that the label promoted for Valentine's Day in 2008. They were sold to raise awareness of the plight of the prisoners at Guantanamo Bay, with half of the profits going to human rights group Reprieve. This was the kind of textbook stunt, equal parts anti-capitalist gesture, politics, and shrewd commercial savvy that earned Agent Provocateur co-founder Joe Coré an approving pat on the back. Agent Provocateur has always dared to be different and has never ceased reminding us of the fact, no matter how close it has come to the mainstream, the brand manages to convince us that it is playing by its own rules and defying the norm. In December 2001, the company produced a short film featuring the most loved girl in England, Australia's own pop and soap star Kylie Minogue, riding a bucking bronco. As she rode, she appeared to grind herself to an orgasm on the bull. The ad incorporates a number of ideas everyone can relate to. A famous actress in Minogue, a mechanical bull that everyone will try to ride at least once in their life, and the sexual theme that intensifies a la coitus, which keeps viewers interested. The film was eventually banned everywhere and caused a big uproar and controversy, giving Agent Provocateur a lot of both good and bad press within the media. Besides Kylie Minogue, Agent Provocateur hired stars such as supermodel Kate Moss in 2006 and also Hollywood actress Maggie Gyllenhaal, who was infamous for her role in the cult BDSM kink flick we count down some of the brand's most famous ad campaigns. Iraq War Controversy, 2003. More than just a lingerie pioneer, Corée's activist roots shone through in Agent Provocateur's 2003 stunt. It's no secret that the Britain's entry into Iraq polarized the nation, with support from both sides dominating the political agenda. Perhaps one rhetoric that stood out most, however, was Agent Provocateurs. In the display windows of their London flagship store stood scantily clad mannequins with play cards reading, Weapons of Mass Destruction and The Only Bush I Trust Is My Own. Stripped, a new perfume, 2008. In the same year, Agent Provocateurs were protesting against Guantanamo Bay they are also performing acts of public indecency. To mark the release of their new perfume, Stripped, the brand displayed an artist painting a nude model in Selfridge's shop window. After the painting was completed, the curtains were drawn and replaced by a mannequin. In terms of the quality of the perfume, the campaign does little to inform audiences of its smell or other features, but perhaps that's the point. The fact that audiences knew so little about the perfume, aside from the nude model being painted, makes it mysterious. Love Me Tender, 
or else, Valentine's Day miniseries. Part of Argent Provocateur's appeal runs deeper than their lingerie. It is also their ability to attract famous celebrities to wear their products and feature in their ads. This was the case for their inaugural Valentine's Day video in 2009, featuring Rosie Huntington Whiteley. The advertisement's overly sexual elements draw viewers in, making it as comical as it is confronting. Huntington Whiteley plays a housewife whose husband calls from the office, telling her he will have to cancel their plans for Valentine's Day due to work commitments. Keen to get her own, the housewife visits her husband in her argent provocateur lingerie, sexually teasing him and leaving him full of regret. The ad brought argent provocateur success for a number of reasons. Firstly, it shows the familiar scenario that everyone dreads, to have your partner bail on Valentine's Day plans. On a deeper level, the ad also plays on the idea of the housewife being in control sexually, which extends to the overall dynamics of the relationship. This is a deliberate ploy by Argent Provocateur to position their lingerie as more than just a fashion statement, rather a weapon in every woman's arsenal to attract and control men. Control Yourself, Autumn Winter Campaign, 2013. The film included stars like Melissa George, Electra Weedman, and Chloe Hayward. Control Yourself ridicules the strains female models go through in preparing for a runway show. The calm, rhythmic groove of total control by the motels, which underscores the video, contrasts the chaotic revolt staged by the models against their hordes of stylists and designers. To be expected, the dissenting models signaled their newfound liberty by tearing off the clothes they are about to display on the catwalk, revealing their lingerie. That is, Argent Provocateur's AW range. What follows next is over the top, quasi foreplay, which typifies the urges the lingerie should make its wearers feel. The ad maintains Argent Provocateur's trademark combination, raunchiness with an interesting story that involves dynamics of power. The film empowered women to take over control and seduce their targets, showing their sexuality without any kind of restraint. After Coré and Reese divorce in 2007, the brand was forced to sell the private equity firm 3i for 60 million pounds. Following the takeover, the company experienced huge growth and fast expanded into 13 countries with over 30 stores. Currently, the brand sells its provocative underwear in over 65 countries. Divorcing must mean it isn't fun to run a company side by side any longer. The sale saw the splitting of company shares and the changing of hands and owners. The once revered and uniquely woman-focused label came to a fork in the road. Despite the mad push for global growth, the brand changed hands in the 2000s and seemed to lose its way. Since then, it has struggled and changed hands on more than one occasion. It's hard to say whether the brand will retain its cachet and infamy that made it so appealing in the beginning, especially with the founder's punk DNA no longer the driving creative force. The label's new creative director, Sarah Shotton, pursued the brand's provocative storyline with the film Control Yourself, directed by American actor, writer and director John Cameron Mitchell. Through the combination of lacy fabrics and non-traditional dramatic shapes, Sarah Shotton has continued the story of one of the most provocative and erotic lingerie brands the world has seen. Agent Provocateur created this personal, sexy image and experience for its customers, and through its usual lingerie advertisements, has kept provoking. No other underwear brand to date has created such a compelling luxury lingerie brand with its core DNA as to what really is genuinely erotic.